high-end gaming computer. High and little to nowhere, brand new, just made 2060 RTX AMD 2600, 16 gigabytes, 2400 megahertz, couple hard drives, 650 watt V already power supply for $1,700. This dude's outside his mind. What's going on guys? Dan with PC Tech Hustle coming at you with another video and today as you can see there I have a bit of a treat for you. So I stumbled across this ad trying to just actually go out and look for some some used parts that I was actually getting ready to put together for a new build and I couldn't resist on this. Now I know this has kind of been a not one that feels a played out but thing that's kind of been done by other tech YouTubers but for me, I thought about it for a minute and I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and make my own video on it because it, it so heavily pertains to what I do and what this channel is all about, being the used parts, PC tech hustling, right? So things like this always pop up and I kind of just ignore them or just roll my eyes. But for this video, I wanted to, one, create some entertainment value, hopefully for you guys, get a, we can all get a laugh at this. but. Also, point out why this ad is so fatally flawed, and if you're new to PC tech and building PCs, I want to make sure you are set up with all the tools to make sure you never fall for a scam like this, because whether this guy thinks it's worth it or not, this is 100% a scam, and let's dissect that, and I'll show you why. Alrighty, so let's pan over to the ad now, and let's take a look at it, dissect some of the areas that are bad, or all of them actually, and that way hopefully I can give you guys some tools if you're considering buying a used PC build from someone on OfferUp in this case or wherever else. First thing that jumps out to me immediately is high-end gaming computer. Okay, so what really defines high-end as far as gaming, gaming computer is concerned, right? So to me that would be really powerful parts, you know? So okay, let's give them the benefit of the doubt, let's continue reading. So, posted over a month ago, okay, I mean, yeah, it's been up there for a little bit, so that might be one thing to think about, but let's look at, let's read off the description here. So it's used normal wear, high-end, little to nowhere, brand new, just made. Just made. So, I'm guessing it means just built, and though maybe this isn't his, you know, English isn't his first language, so I'm not going to critique him on that, but... I take from that is he just built this computer okay cool so what kind of parts do we have in here we got a 2060 rtx not sure if it's a supermodel or not assuming probably no i would think maybe he would indicate that hopefully an amd 2600 non-x variant okay but still a good processor right 16 gigs of 2600 megahertz ram so Good on 16 gigs, not that great for the speed. 3200 plus would be a little better for a high-end rig. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, so then moving on, we got a couple hard drives, it looks like. We got a 500 gig SSD, which, again, we have no idea what brand or name or make or model, so I'm guessing that isn't even NVMe, if it's just a normal 2.5 inch SSD, so, a 500 gig cheap 2.5 inch SSD you can get for like 30 bucks 40 bucks on Amazon so uh, yeah um, and then a 500 gig spinning hard drive I mean let's just say brand new right if he this guy bought these parts brand new again like 20 to 30 bucks like <laughs> anyway so VR ready I don't know if he meant to kind of like separate that out as an indicator that the machine is VR ready, but kind of just smudged that into VR ready 600, 600 PSU. So I'm again thinking 600 watt PSU. And then we got the motherboard as the last item, the ROG Strix B350F motherboard. Okay. Let's just think about these parts here. These are basically medium range parts not a single one of these jumps off at me as being a high-end part i would say the only thing that is remotely close to being 
technically high end, I, I mean, this is really stretching, is maybe the video card again. It's, we don't even know if it's a supermodel. So definitely lots of questions just in this description. We don't know what kind of video card. It just says a 2060 RTX. We don't know if it's super. We don't even know what brand or, or, or whatever it is. AMD 2600, I mean, you can assume if you know your PC hardware, you know that's a six core 12 thread. But again, for someone who's buying a system, they need, they need to know those details as well. Otherwise you're kind of really being vague here. What other items? Yeah, we don't have any clue on what type of SSD, whether it be NVMe or a 2.5 inch, let alone the make and model of those hard drives. And again, on the power supply, we don't have a clue what maker model it is. It could be a really terrible power supply for all we know. But he did give quite a bit of detail on the motherboard, which I thought was kind of funny. It's ROG Strix B350F motherboard, but a B350. Like, they don't make those anymore. Those are old, very old, very first skew Ryzen chipset. So <laughs> we're off to the races here, guys. All right, so let's look at some pictures, right? So he's got two. Two pictures. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the pictures and I actually had to jump over to Word and copy and paste the, some screenshots of these pictures because I couldn't really see too well within OfferUp and this allows me to zoom in a little bit because these pictures are this bad. All right, so here's picture number one. It's a really cruddy side profile picture, but we kind of get the gist of some things here. So let's see what we got. There are definitely some things that are jumping out at me right now. I mean, obviously this cable management is atrocious. Like, it is so bad. I'm not real sure what kind of case this is because I can't really tell. I probably have to do some digging here, but at least, at least it looks like it's got some tempered glass, which is cool, I guess. But uh, looking a little old though, because there looks like a big drive cage area here for lots of drives uh, on the front side here so maybe a little bit of an older design all right so case aside let's take a look at the parts here that we can see based on the two really cruddy pictures we have this guy wants to label this a high-end system like i mean you got in your asking price is 1700 dollars for stuff that's before i put the things together here I'm guessing this thing's worth like six seven hundred bucks most maybe eight hundred maybe but good lord man like this is terrible so now maybe it wasn't his work who knows so we have no idea but anyway okay so first thing cable management bad uh, secondly cooler is mounted backwards so as you can see it's actually impeding on his RAM slots <laughs> so what did he do with that well he's got the 16 gigabytes mounted in slots three and four. So it's not even running in dual channel mode. So we already got a problem there. So this high-end build is off to the races of being terrible. Yeah, it looks like you actually could fit it in slot two uh, and four, but decided to just put it in slot three and four, pulling a, a verge here. So one thing he could do here to fix this and make it more high-end is remount the cooler. Now I can, I think I see now why he did this. It looks like maybe it could be impeding on the VRM heatsink here off to the left side. But with these coolers, you can actually unscrew the top shroud and rotate it. I do this actually with a lot of my AMD builds because it, it's kind of weird to me too that it's even on the side. So I just rotate that top shroud where it has the AMD logo on it. So that way it's at the top and it reads left to right and it doesn't impede on anything. So. Uh, obviously a problem there. All right, so down to the video card since we've critiqued the memory and CPU pretty bad here already. Um, yes, we can tell it is an RTX 2060 by MSI. So we'll, uh, I'll go dig that up and see if I can find what type of card making model that is and put that up on the screen. Though it looks like it is probably more of a decent card. You know, it looks like it's got a back plate, so, and possibly a six plus eight, or at least require a, at least a slightly bit of heavier amount of power to, to run it. So I am catching here off on the right side, looks like a 2.5 inch SSD. So a Samsung variant, 
my guess is a Samsung Evo like 860, I think, or something. Yeah, you know, whatever is their 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 more later 500 gig models. But so it's a 2.5 inch. If it's Samsung brand, yeah, okay, so it's probably worth in a ballpark of 60 to 80 dollars, brand new. Uh, probably you know more on the the lower end there. So let's see here. We get the power supply shroud has cables coming out basically for everything. So he's completely bypassed all the side grommets to do really anything that you would normally route stuff through. This is just, to me, pure laziness. He's just plugging in cables where they need to, though it looks like he's got everything plugged in where it needs to go. He's just done it in a very, very sloppy format. So let's see if we can get anything else from the other picture. All right, so, okay, we're looking basically at the same thing, just, a little closer, he still did not manage to take off the side panel glass when giving us a shot here. I mean, that's kind of the thing to do too, is take off the side panel glass so you can clearly see what you're getting yourself into. Though, now we got a little bit better picture of the motherboard. So it's definitely an Asus brand. Uh, you know, I can see it's the Strix model brand here. So, and that's about it. So. I really can't hardly confirm anything here. I mean, it's going to be tough to confirm the processor. I mean, it looks like it is a 2600, probably is. I don't think there's reason to doubt that, but the RAM's in a terrible slot. The cooler's mounted backwards. Don't know at all what kind of card this actually is. I don't see the other hard drive. I don't see the power supply because it's blocked by the shroud. So there's a lot of questions to be asked in regards to what we see here and what was given to us in the description. So I think it goes without saying that even someone who isn't experienced with PC parts in building PCs, like there's going to be some things to, to, to question here. So things to definitely get confirmed with this PC builder. All right. So I'd like to critique the PC a bit more, but really I can't. I can't see too much there. I had two really cruddy pictures and they're both almost basically the same picture. Um, we obviously had a weak parts description and we have very weak pictures to support the description. So definitely things you want to do though, when you're looking at computer components and your systems. And this is what I, I try to keep in mind when I, I do a flip too, is I support the descriptions with pictures. So if I'm saying it has like an RX 578 gig, well, you know what? I'm gonna get a shot of that video card that shows the label, it being an RX 578 gig. I mean, there's so many questions with this right now. So anyway, let's now see if we can put together what we think these parts are fully and see how much it would cost us. So let's flip to that. Alrighty guys, so I put together, save you guys the time of me trying to figure out everything that, that's kind of somewhat comparable or or is the actual part that this guy has in his, in his build. And I put that together for you and I got that here up on the screen now. So let's take a quick peek. So one thing we know for sure is we has, he has a Ryzen uh, 5 2600 going price for those about 120 bucks, brand new. Mind you, all this is used so this, this is brand new parts that I'm picking out and all of his stuff is used so you have to take that into consideration and even if it's somewhat modern if you open the box it's used so that's you can never ask retail price for anything uh, the motherboard for example being a b350f they don't make those anymore so I did find the b450f variant uh, for about $122. So I just put that in there just because I could not find actually PC part picker did find the B 350 F, but they're asking for like $300 because it's a retired board and there's no supply. So we put that in as a placeholder for $122. Next we got the Corsair. What I, it looks like what he's running is the vengeance LPX and the going price for a 16 gig kit he mentioned his is running at 2600 so there is no 2600 there's 2666 give or take we're sitting at about 118 dollars roughly for a 16 gig kit that kind of matches along with what he's saying he has another kind of placeholder item 
And then speaking of placeholder items, we have another, which is the Western Digital Black 500 gig, 7200 RPM drive. He, because he mentioned he has a 500 gig hard drive in there, didn't mention anything else other than that. So I'm assuming he's got a 7200 because the other drive that he mentioned is a solid state drive, which we can confirm based on looking at the, pri uh, at the pictures, seeing that it's mounted there on the side. So we at least know that for sure. So then next I threw in another placeholder because I'm not sure again what this guy had. I put in for argument's sake a 860 Evo, which is kind of the more top of the line brand 2.5 inch drive that Samsung has out on the market these days. And for an asking price of $80. So again, we're guessing. And another thing we're guessing on, right, is the video card. Though we know based on the pictures, if we go back, it's an MSI RTX 2060. We don't know if it's a 2060 Super or if it's just a normal 2060. Though for again, for argument's sake, I threw in a brand new 2060 Super from MSI and the retail price of those are about $400. So if it's a, a non-Super, you're looking at anywhere between $50 to $80 less than this asking price. Again, <laughs> nothing high end. For case, again, we're making another guess here. And again, these things are might be, you might be able to get the information from the seller on, but uh, based on us not being in contact with the seller, we're, we're, we're making some assumptions here. But I don't know what kind of case this is. The, the, there's no other pictures other than this side profile. It looks like it says Fantex there on the side. So I'm not sure, but being a used case, it has some tempered glass. I think $50 is a pretty fair asking price for a used part like that, probably less, honestly. But I thought it was a Fantex case, so I put in the Fantex uh, Eclipse P300, though I know it's not that case, it's just another placeholder, right? Because we have no idea what we're dealing with. And then lastly, power supply, which I'm really highly doubting. He actually has an EVGA Supernova G50 80 plus gold. If anything, he's probably got junk in there just as it looks like most of this build is. But for argument's sake, again, and for placeholder's sake, I put in that power supply and those are going for about $120 now, brand new. So total brand new, almost comparable build. Brand new, everything brand new. Puts us right at 1059. And I would say, honestly, that's a really sorry way of spending $1,000. If you go back and just look at the video that I did recently where we put together a $500 build, which aside from video card, uh, we can, it's almost comparable performance. So at least wanted to get you guys to see this and see what it goes for brand new. And that way we have a basis to comparison. So this dude is asking $700 more than brand new parts if you were to basically build the same exact thing. In fact, I bet my list is better than what he's got in his, his build. And we can definitely make it look a heck of a lot better too. So now let's take $1,700 and spec out a badass $1,700 build and truly make it a high-end gaming PC because even this $1,000 brand new build that I pieced together based on the information I got from his ad is nowhere near high-end. This is, I would say, mid-tier to possibly middle, upper mid-tier. Definitely not high-end by any stretch of imagination. Alrighty guys, so now we've got the truly high-end gaming PC or PC for that matter put together for $1,700 and let me show you what you can really get for this kind of money. All right, so back over on part, PC Part Picker here. Just gonna quickly skim through the list I put together. As you can see, we got $1,700, $1,708. So yeah, we broke the budget by a few dollars. Big whoop, but you get the general idea. So what we're gonna do here is go with a 3700X. So brand new uh, Zen 2 AMD Ryzen chip. 3700X, I chose that mainly because it's a pretty good middle ground slash upper tier CPU. And obviously we still have quite a bit of upgradability if we even want to take this further, if we decide you know, to spend even more money, right? And I kind of splurged on the motherboard, mainly because I'm kind of a big Aorus Gigabyte fan, but 
you could definitely tone that down a bit. So we went with the you know Gigabyte Aorus Master. I, I mainly chose this board because one, I have one for my Z390 build, and this board is just full of features. So very high end feeling. You have crazy power delivery, you have tons of features, lots of uh, NVMe slots. So if you're wanting high end, this is definitely it. And now there obviously is one more tier above this, but those boards started like $800. So that's that's the extreme side. And actually that's the name of the board too. So, um, all right. So then going back here to the RAM, went with the probably some of the best, most fastest RAM that you can get out on the market for especially Ryzen. So snagged up a 16 gig kit of Trident Z Neo 3600 megahertz at cast latency 16. Basically the best RAM you can get for Ryzen right now. Good stuff here, definitely the sweet spot for memory and definitely the high end stuff too. I mean, this nice RGB to go with it, right? So give it more of that high end feel. Next for storage, now I did just go down to 500 gigs because honestly there's nothing really high end about that 500 gig hard drive so really just probably some extra storage the guy had and just tossed in that machine so here we went with the samsung 970 evo 500 gig m.2 nvme so on par with one of the highest most fastest performing nvme drives on the market there's only a few other types of drives in this SKU that are faster but I mean, snagging this part up for 80 something dollars is fantastic for a high-end system. And then moving on to the video card. Now this is where we definitely had to spend some money, but we want to make sure that we had high-end here, right? So I, I really wanted to go with like a 2080 Ti, but that would just blow the budget so much on video card, it would just be silly. So again this is an area where you have a lot of variants now the guy does have a 2060 we still aren't sure yet if it was a 2060 super or not but i went ahead and went with again i'm kind of, i kind of prefer the oris brand another brand i highly highly recommend evga but went with the oris 2070 super so we're like two variants down from the most top of the line video card you can get out there so and this thing looks freaking awesome i love these cards are I really want to get one, but now I'm kind of holding back knowing that some new NVIDIA cards are on the way, but really good stuff here and got that for just under $600. And that is just going to be an absolute beast of a video card. So uh, the next part uh, went with the NZXT H510i mid tower case. Now I really just chose this because it's kind of more, it's not like super high end, like you can spend tons of needless money on cases like <laughs> what i have in the background i have a you know thermal take view 71 with a bunch of stupid rgb fans but i didn't want to bust the budget on that because one the seller you know if we're comparing the ad he didn't have anything fancy and actually this is a heck of an upgrade this is a much more modern and featureful case so this will definitely house our parts and do well and keep things cool though i would probably recommend you know further down the line getting something maybe you that has a bit more fans maybe some more radiators radiator support etc uh, that way you can maybe mount an aio or things like that so and then lastly the last part we have on the list is just power so stumbled across this evga g1 850 watt 80 plus gold this is you know a g1 so it's a little it's an older model but i mean these things are still fantastic and actually i really kind of prefer the look of the older models i think they actually look really good but anyway so that sums it up we if we go back to our total we're at 1708 we literally took the budget and created what truly is a high-end gaming rig as opposed to i mean this is just this I, i'm sometimes i'm at a loss for words here because the audacity for that guy to go and charge seventeen hundred dollars for something that's worth you know as we priced out on the brand new markets about a thousand dollars but if I were buying that PC and if I knew something about parts, which honestly I wouldn't even entertain the idea, but for sake of this demonstration of this video, I wouldn't offer anything more than six, 700 bucks for that, that PC. So yeah, he's definitely asking a thousand dollars more if we consider that for a PC that 
is nowhere near and as you can see what you can truly get for seventeen hundred dollars and like i mentioned too this is a 10 minute put together build if you didn't want all the extra flashy things on the vid on the uh the video card and the motherboard and kind of tone down the ram a little bit you could save yourself probably an extra two three hundred bucks and maybe go up in video card or go up in cpu Alrighty guys, so that about does it for this video. I hope you guys found this uh, video obviously entertaining and, and a passive, but also informative to a level of, there's things to be aware of. If you're tuning into my channel here, you're trying to learn about used parts and building PCs on the cheap, and then you stumble across something that seems legit as a high-end build. I wanted to show you guys all the red flags with that ad and what you can truly get for your money. That guy was definitely crazy asking $1,700 for something that wasn't worth even half. And before we go guys, make sure you do the YouTube thing, right? Give me a like if you enjoyed this. I had a particular fun time dissecting this ad and just many times face palming and rolling my eyes on how terrible this person is trying to rip someone off. I mean, they are, like I said, they are trying to ask for so much more money than what this is actually worth. And I want to hear from you guys too. Do you stumble across ads like this or was this helpful for you guys so you know what to identify on your used markets and what to stay away from? And also maybe what to use your money worth if you want to buy some brand new parts. And make sure you check out these videos too before you go. One being the video I just previously did about how to actually build a good PC with your used markets and how to use that intelligently. Other than that, guys, thanks for tuning in to this one, and I'll catch you in the next one.